Hey everybody, Chris Crest here. So you guys know that I'm a big fan of different types of optics, rifle optics, red dots, prism scopes, stuff like that. So a uh, big fan of uh, vortex scopes, loophole scopes, and I've, uh, as of recently, have been uh, diving into some primary arms and uh, as well as some Holosun red dots. So kind of going along that path of trying out some different optics, I had a need for a new optic for a hunting rifle for my upcoming elk slash mule deer hunt. And um, I was looking around, looking at different reviews and actually uh, Joe Cyclops, he does a great job of going over different optics and the good parts, bad parts, and what his opinion is and um, I saw he recently did a video on one of these and I decided to pick it up so uh, this is the Kentucky long precision rifle optic from uh, Swamp Fox and uh, this is a uh, 2 to 12 by 44 so let's go ahead and take a quick look at this and I'll give you my first impression opinion but uh, and of course I'll be giving you guys a, a more long-term opinion as well let's go ahead and take a quick look at this thing so I needed something kind of quick because I'm leaving on my hunting trip pretty soon you know I went ahead and uh, this happened to me in stock over at Brown Hills and I knew they could get it to me fast because I utilized their edge program so I went ahead and ordered it used my edge program and I got it here within a day so super fast shipping on their part I did the edge one day shipping cost me a little extra but but still I needed to get this thing in so I could get it mounted up and on the rifle sighted in and ready to rock so so anyways like I mentioned in the introduction this is the Kentucky long precision rifle optic from Swamp Fox I know they've gotten a pretty good following as of the last couple years been interested in trying out one of their scopes anyways so here's what you get in the package of course the scope right here pretty sexy looking scope it's it's kind of a little bit short and stubby it's not not super long or whatnot it does have resettable turrets and these are not capped uh, you actually pull up on these guys to to rotate them quick look at what you get in the box here you do get some flip up scope caps you get a cr2032 battery for the illuminated reticle of course you got instructions all that handy stuff you got a uh, lens cleaning cloth stickers and then uh, of course at the end here it looks like you have a couple different th length throw levers as well as the tool for that last but not least lens hood here so but what we want to focus on truly is the optic itself let me uh, go over some of the features on this swamp fox optic so this is a 2 to 12 by 44 and it is a first focal plane scope so what that means is that your uh, holdovers on the reticle are going to be accurate at any any uh, magnification so i got a lot of fir first focal plane and i have second focal plane scopes as well i'm okay either way on that i would have been fine honestly if this was just a second focal plane but that was a nice bonus typically your first focal plane scopes are a little higher priced uh, so this thing is an, an moa and it's quarter moa adjustments it's a 30 millimeter tube again it is first focal plane and um it has a, let me see here, kind of a grid reticle, and I'll try to get maybe a picture of that up on the video. It has a, a, an illuminated reticle with 11, 11 brightness settings. It's push-pull locking turrets. It is 1100 G4 shock resistance, and you have high and low profile throw levers, and it's waterproof to one meter submerged. Okay, I don't plan on submerging my optics, but you know, it's nice to, nice to know about that so here you can see kind of the reticle there at the two power there's a pretty good view of the reticle 
um, all the way magged up. So you can see how the reticle is gonna change size depending on the magnification, and then your holdovers will stay true on that. And this is an illuminated reticle as well. So if you look at the turrets themselves, you got your elevation here, and like I mentioned, it is uh, pop-up, so kind of locks into place. It's got a very nice uh, click adjustments, very audible and tactile and you can pop that guy back in and that's going to lock it same thing with the windage here uh, over on the left hand side you have your uh, illumination settings as well as your parallax settings so it looks like it goes from 10 to infinity okay on your parallax so that's nice having a side adjustable parallax the scope itself looks really nice i have no clue where it's made i would suspect it's made overseas somewhere but i don't see it really annotated on the optic itself i'm trying to look to see the quality control on this guy and actually i see a little bit of a, kind of a it may not pick up on camera very well but uh actually has a little bit of a blemish on the bell up here so it looks like uh almost looks like it was scratch and somebody put touch-up paint on it so i'm not real impressed with that so these scopes cost about they retail for around 500 dollars it's not a super expensive scope by any stretch of imagination however it's also not a very cheap one either so i would expect maybe a little better quality for the money as far as that's concerned so maybe i reach out to swamp fox and see exactly what they have to say about that um you know the rest of the scope looks really nice i've got a quick focus eyepiece here seems to work pretty good nice and smooth the other thing about the rings here the quick focus eyepiece and whatnot you don't want these to be very sloppy you want them to be fairly stiff okay and then the same thing goes for the magnification ring so this thing is uh, very smooth but it's also uh, stiff that I don't have to worry about it you know changing on me when I don't want it to all right since we're talking about warranty or quality control on the scope the scope is warranted by Swamp Fox optics for 50,000 round guarantee it says they're not tracking shot data we'll go by the warrior code and your best estimation of whether or not the optic failed prior to using it so i mean this is essentially uh, a lifetime warranty for the most part so the 50,000 round guarantee cannot cover loss or theft cosmetic damage or intentional abuse okay so obviously you know as a hunting optic or a hard use optic i mean things are going to happen so anyways we'll see you know, I say overall, I, I like the way the scope looks. It's not terribly heavy. I think it weighs somewhere around 20, between 20 and 24 ounces, I think is what the, the weight is on this guy. I like the blacked out kind of logo there on the, um, on the, the front side of the optic there, or on the side rather. So it's kind of, kind of subdued as far as the logos and stuff. So that's pretty slick. Like I said, my only complaint is gonna be that that spot on the housing that looks like it was scratched. And it almost just looks like it was scratched or blemished and somebody touched over it. So it doesn't show up very well on camera, but it, it, from my eyes, it almost looks like a different color along the edge there. So that's a little, you know, honestly, if this was going through my QC, I would have threw it in the uh, blemished category. So a little disappointing having a brand new scope that is um, out of the box blemished like that. So, alrighty. So anyways, if you're looking to pick up some sort of an optic, such as a Swamp Fox or one of the other ones that I'm a fan of, definitely check out the selection over at Brownells. A lot of stuff is back in stock. Uh, there are plenty of coupon codes if need be. Definitely use my uh, link tree link down below in the description of this video and go over there and use my Brownells link or one of my other affiliate links. It helps out the channel, helps me out, helps out the channel as well. Yeah, so any questions, comments, or if anybody has any experience with Swamp Fox, please put it down below. Like I said, this is the first optic from them that I've tried out. You know, I appreciate everybody watching, subscribing, and I'll catch you on the next video. Y'all take care.